Welcome to the World of Warcraft Chains of Domination Pre-Gold Guide. The Gold Goblins and their allies continue to make gold while you don't in Shadowlands. Today's video will prepare you to make tons of gold in Shadowlands 9.1, but it's up to you to farm and gather info to make that gold. This will be one of a few pre-gold guides released over the weekend. If you like everything wild gold, be it farming, crafting, or the like, and you want to stay updated with the latest gold updates to come, Please remember to hit that subscribe button along with the bell button and all. First on our list is going to be farming herbs and ore. Having both professions will yield a lot more gold than just having one. Seeing they share a lot of the routes the same, the guide assumes you have both. Let's start with the maw. Full video can be found in the description and also to the comment sections for easier access. Still to this day, this is the best nightshade in a lithium ore farm. Nightshade milled produces a high amount of tranquil pigments and goes for 48.77 gold for each nightshade. The herb is used for many things, but key things will be crafter's mark of the chain isle that allows item set to 230, which is new to 9.1, requires 25 of them. Flask wise is used for power, which is 614 gold each, and stanima at 297.84 gold each, which will sell like hotcakes at the end of the day at a Six Flags theme park. Of course, there are many other uses making this item desirable. Orewise Lithium, which goes for 97.98 gold each, is also used for crafter's mark that range from 15 to 25 depending on the profession you choose, hitting two birds with one stone if you choose both herbalism and mining. In the end, this farm is still good and it will get you even more than it did when I first posted it. Due to your eye level being higher, or if it's not higher, then I suggest you try to get a little bit higher level. Now, I do want to say right now too as well, druids are the best for this farm, so come with a druid. If not, you can use any other class that can get around easily. Other farms like Widow Bloom at 35 gold each and Vigils at 20.95 gold can be found in this video right here. Same result can be had, if not more, seeing we are higher level. Only thing that is different is prices due to being farther into the expansion. Death Blossom can be had in any of the places that I'll be showing in what we call a weed herb. Vigil and Widow Bloom are used for Flask of Power, making them a must if you plan on making Flask of Power or the like. Also note, Crossroads is a no-go anymore. It seems they fixed this sit and gather spot, so sorry guys, you can't do this. Next on our list is Meru at 29 gold. It's used for both Power and Stanima Flask, making it a need for both of them. That said, it's harder to obtain than others in lower gather per hour. If you follow this route string at 53.58 and 53.69, you should have a good bundle in an hour. Results may vary depending on your RNG node spawn. Last on our list is Rising Glory at 19 gold and can be found here. Thanks to my buddy Daniel for showing the spot to me at Start of Shadowlands. A spreadsheet is linked in the description of that video, but it's outdated due to price changes. But this spot is just as good as it was back then. And just like the others, prices are just lower, that's the only difference. Rising Glory can be used for both power and stamina flask. Unlike Marrow Root, it has a better spawn rate. Here are a few things I want to leave you with with this segment. All ores share the same route as herbs or similar outlines. That said, I cannot stress enough that you should take both herbalism and mining together. This will help you increase your gold per hour and honestly it will help you supply your ults. Any class can do this, but Druid is king. But if you don't have a Druid, Sky Golem, Darkmoon, Firewater, and the like will help you obtain said materials. Sell the most herbs that you get or the ore. Because if you do this and you can sell an auction house for cheaper value, don't get greedy, you can actually go and buy the other herb that you need or the ore you need that you can't get as much. Others will be doing this too. If overcrowded, change locations instead of wasting time competing with bots in groups. This concludes the herbalism and mining part. Stay tuned for other parts releasing throughout the weekend. If you like a more in-depth guide for each item, please let me know below. Big thank you to my patrons who support the channel monthly. With that, as always, stay stashy.